Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Vivi.net applications in Visual Studio 2019. Come over here, click on my Visual Studio 2019. This is the first window of Visual Studio or welcome screen. Here you can see your recent projects and you can easily open your recent projects by clicking on them. And after that, in this panel, I can see the most common properties and features of Visual Studio. For instance, if you want to open your existing project, click over here and you can easily open your project. And after that, if you want to create new project in VB.NET or other languages, you can come over here and select this button. This is the new project window. Let's get back. And after that, I can go into the Visual Studio itself. Click over here. So you can see the main window of Visual Studio 2019 without any creating the new project. And uh, if I come to file and new project, this is the new project window. This is my search box for searching easily and quickly my project type. For instance, I want to create Windows form. So I select this one form and I can see different search results over here this is my windows form app so i can select it and go to next in addition you can do it step by step this is the language combo box platform and project type now let's talk about them first one is language from this combo box i can select easily my programming language for instance i want to create c sharp select this or in this tutorial i'm going to create the visual basic or vb.net project so select this one in addition you can select all the languages come to visual basic and from the platform combo box you can select the platform or the operating system of your project for instance if you want to write for android you can select this azure ios mac or windows i want to create my vb.net application in my windows platform so select windows and after that i can see my project type over here before doing this let's clear my filter by clicking over here now i can see my projects without any filter don't forget this and after that i should select my project type and for instance, IoT games or for desktop or for Windows applications. I want to create the application for desktop or Windows. So select this one. Or if you want to create application for mobile, select this and other project types. So let's select desktop and it means I want to create application for my Windows. Select this one. And now you can see in this list different available project types based on your selection over here so my favorite one is windows form application i select this one and the visual basic is for my language windows is for my platform and the desktop is my project type so don't forget this and if you want to create other project types for instance wpf or empty project you can select all of these but i want to create application in windows so let's select this one windows form app come to next in this window i can write the name for my project for instance write hello world and after that i can select my project location from here and my solution name the solution in fact is like the folder that holds different projects so each solution can hold one to many projects and it's my own rule to add sn or solution name at the end of my solution name like this this is my hello world and this is my hello world underscore sn and if you want to visual studio puts your solution file and project file in same folder you should check this box and if you want to visual studio create another folder for a solution uncheck this and again add sn for your solution name and in this combo box you should create your dotnet framework version dotnet framework is 
the engine or heart of Visual Studio. And all of your codes exist inside the .NET Framework too. So during about two decades of introducing the Visual Studio, Microsoft released many different versions of .NET Framework. The first is .NET Framework 2.0. You can easily create a wide range of projects with this .NET Framework version. And after that, you can select 3.5, 4, or other versions. And this is the latest version, 4.8. During my 20 years of programming, I used .NET Framework 2.0, and easily you can create wide range of applications. And in addition, you can select the .NET Framework 4 and other versions. Let's select .NET Framework 2.0, and this is really great for our application without any problem. And remember, the power of your application relates to your programming power, not only your selected version for .NET Framework. So as I told you, you can create professional applications with this version. Now let's create our project. Create and let's say hello to the programming world. Congratulations. Finally, we could create our first application. Let's run it and everything works fine and this is my first application great and you can easily create new project in other versions of visual studio for instance this is my 2017 version of visual studio the only main difference between the 2019 with visual studio 2017 is this window no project the new project window is different from the Visual Studio 2019 and you can easily create your project in this window. Your project language and your project type, name and other matters. Great. So it's not important which version you are working with it. And I talked about the 2019 version to show you how to create your project and with the 2017 version so you can easily work with both of them now let's dig in 